Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Mum of Wildlings. Today's video is um, brought to you from my car because I am early for an appointment today and it is probably the only chance I'm going to get to make this video. So yeah, nice rainy Scotland as you can see. Um, now today is another Monday motivation video and I wanted to talk a little bit about self care, mainly because that's what I am doing today. I have an appointment to get a lymphatic drainage massage, c-section massage and reflexology as well. So um, yeah, really looking forward to it and it is very, very, very much needed. Now the amount of people that I speak to that say they don't have time for self-care, I get it. As like a busy mum of four who works and homeschools and everything, I totally, totally understand it. But you really have to prioritise it. Just for your own health, your own sanity, like just to function, self-care has to become a priority. And people can really, really struggle with that because they don't see it as important. People that say they don't have time, I always think, well, what if tomorrow you broke your leg? You would have to make time to go to the hospital. You, you just have to. No matter what your other plans for that day, you would have to take the time to go to the hospital, get it put in a cast. You then have to rejig your life to work around walking in a cast and crutches and things. You then have to make time for follow-up appointments and to get the cast off. And you would. You would make that time in your life to get that done because you can't go about with a, a broken leg. So people do have time, they just don't make it. But what people aren't understanding is that we're broken. Like our minds, our emotional state, our physical state, you need self-care. Otherwise you are like that broken leg. You need fixed and you can't lead your best life broken. There's a saying, you can't pour from an empty cup and it is so, so very true. How are you supposed to give anybody or anything you, you when you have, when you're not whole, when you don't have enough to give? How can you give your work 100%? How can you give your kids 100%? How can you give your home, your partner, your friends, your family? How can you give any time to you? you? You need to be whole to be able to give to other people. Self-care doesn't have to be these big grand gestures. It doesn't have to be going for a massage or a spa day or anything. It can be just going for a walk or sitting for half an hour and doing some mindful thinking and having a cup of tea um, exercising, building exercise into your day writing a diary it can be lots of things and it doesn't have to take up a lot of time but you should schedule that time into your day now for me, it would be a lot easier if I could do my self-care at home around the kids and that is what I usually plan to do but it just doesn't happen because when you're at home if you're a parent you will know trying to get peace when you've got kids there is like nigh on impossible you go for a bath and the kids want to come in with you you try to cook a nice healthy meal the kids are there they're at you if you try to go on the phone or relax or meditate or anything the kids are there so for me, I like to book time away, whether that's me going to the gym or to get a massage or even like if I'm going to the supermarket, I'll try and schedule in maybe half an hour before or afterwards so I can sit in the car and do some either like mindfulness meditation or sit on my phone and like go through some things. Um, lots of different ways to schedule in self-care to suit your life but please 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 do not feel guilty for it you should feel guilty for not taking self-care like that's it's, it's just essential it's something that you have to do in your life now i'm just going to round this video up here because i am nearly 
going in for my appointment. Um, if you'd like me to do a separate video on any of the treatments I'm getting done today, let me know in the comments below and I will. Also, please let me know what your self-care tips are. If you do self-care or if you start doing self-care, let me know how you get on with it. Um, really interested to see what you guys all think. Uh, yeah, so that's me for now and I will see you all soon. Bye!